Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about healthier choices management, technical HCMC. Today we are going off and we're really not going to talk about the technical analysis, but rather about the pattern review. There's been many who's confused about the whole pattern review, so in this video we're going to talk about it. I'm really going to talk about what's more important to cover for me at least is about what will happen if the PTAB were to accept the review or if they don't accept the review. And so that is what really I want to talk about, but I will talk about the overall case. But before that, let's look at one of the stocks we talked about yesterday, which is Eyeless. Today, Eyeless is up 44.26. In fact, it's 43.9% right now. It's up at 0 0.4030. Made this video um, on the Friday where it was it ended at the closing price of 0 0.2801. Eyeless has a lot of catalysts up and coming. I'll be making another video explaining Eyeless later on. I also have a previous video on Eyeless for those of you who want to go check that out. But this is the video I want to do on the mention. But let's go on with the HCMC. So... Let's talk about HCMC right now. And one thing to make it clear right now, this whole pattern review has no relations to the IQOS device, the ICOS device. There is no relations. The only relations in the way that you could put it in is that by the PTAB accepting this whole pattern review, it could stop the lawsuit in the sense that it will prolong it, meaning that if they were to accept the pattern review, the lawsuit will be stopped. And then until we have a final decision on whether this pattern is... Um, okay or not then the lawsuit won't continue so that's why i feel like it's important to understand is that it, do it doesn't talk about the icos however if this pattern review were to get accepted the, pa the lawsuit could be stopped but let's talk about how a new pattern could create and exist first basically it has to do something new so what i mean by that is obviously many things have been created however you can still create something on top of that however it has to do something new and I'm sure you guys can think of plenty of examples, but pretty much, you know, you get a normal object and it does X. In order for you to make a pattern on a new project, it has to do X plus Y. It can't just do the same thing again, obviously. It has to do a new thing, which is X plus Y. So I feel like that hopefully answered you guys' question. Now, let's talk about what are the two things that could have this review started and we'll also talk about why I possibly feel like this review won't get accepted. Firstly, right now they're comparing this pattern review with the Robinson pattern. And in the Robinson pattern, it says that, it quotes that it may also burn. Now, one of the questions to ask now is, does it may also burn equals to initiate a combustion reaction? Obviously, comb initiate combustion reaction is obviously HCMC's pattern. And, you know, that's one of the questions. Does these two mean the same thing? Does these two have to give the same meaning? Because this is very key and this is very important to understand. And then already, when they first made this pattern, you know, did they miss this whole point? Did they miss the fact that this could potentially mean the same? Because if it did, then, you know, they obviously that means they have missed that point. And then if these two questions are answered, then yes, they will have to do this review pattern again. Now, for those of you who have made it up to this point of the video, I hope you guys have firstly found something new and enjoyed it if you did make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below it helps out a lot but also this video like i said again guys is mostly going to talk about the market psychology it has on hcmc and the longer term effect if you guys want a bigger perspective and a more um detailed perspective a loss a lawsuit perspective and a lawyer's perspective i do apologize that this is very prolonged go check out your awesome source you know his videos are very informative I'm just really going to talk about the summary and then talk about what it does to the price. So that now let's go back. The Robinson pattern just happens to um, combust. So this is about why I think the pattern review won't happen. However, nothing is for sure. I'm not a financial advisor, nor my pattern attorney. So do tell you what I say, Graham. So the Robinson's pattern basically happens to combust, whereas HMC's pattern is designed to combust, where they say it's meant it's meant to initiate combustion reaction, where the Robinson pattern is like I said here, it may also burn. And so there's two different things here. And you know, one is where it happens coincidentally, one is we're designed to combust. And so these are two key factors we have to look at. But also, originally when these um, things were raised, when the, norm, the, the Robinson pattern was um, looked at and when the HMC's pattern was looked at, these things are most likely discussed and most things are discussed. So it's very lot likely to get accepted. Now you guys may wonder then why is this whole thing happening? Well, pretty much PM asked for this because it is allowed. And they normally do this as a normal tactic to pretty much slow everything down to kind of really take time to prolong these things. 
because then they were able to get more things. Um, because what we have discussed and what we have really said is that right now PM are in the weaker position, meaning that we, there's a bigger advantage of HTMCs winning. And by doing these things, by prolong, prolonging these things, it really shows that they're in the weaker positions because this is really kind of one in a million chance. Now, obviously I exaggeration, but it's very unlikely that it's gonna get reviewed. But even if it does, it's very unlikely that the the whole pattern will get rejected and that you know it does have it has existed before and so these two things are very unlikely i'm not saying that it won't happen i'm just saying that very unlikely and normally companies like to do this during a lawsuit and so you know this is why it's happening and so just because it's happening is happening doesn't necessarily mean that you know it will go to the result of what pm wants let's talk about when um these host lawsuit will Kind of when this p tab will give the review for the answer pretty much right now apparently so they're meant to hmc is meant to give the reply september the 14th i haven't found anything um if you guys have found something make sure to comment um down below but the p tab has up until december the 14th to decide whether or not they want to start this whole review or not but pretty much that's it if they do obviously we can be looking at a year-long trial to whether or not to discuss you know whether or not this has um existed or not and you know whether this pattern should actually, actually exist or not and so this could prolong but now let's talk about you know what will happen if the price were to go down so firstly the p tab accept so they accept this whole trial they want to review whether or not this pattern is legitimate or not the price will go down why because this will take longer time like i said previously guys this could take a whole year to trial this could take a whole year to review if it does take a whole year to review you know this will already prolong the original process. We have already been waiting for, you know, this trial for a very long time now. For those of you who have been waiting, you know, it could be for as long as from the March all the way to now, so that's six months. A lot, the a lot, a big reason why HMC share price continues to go down is because there has been no news on the lawsuit. Even when it did, it, you know, it just became, it kept on getting prolonged, kept on getting prolonged. So the fact a lot of people are, are selling. And so if we do see this get accepted, we are definitely going to see another surge of money going out because it's just more wise for people to invest in other capitals, which is totally, uh, rather different assets, which is totally understandable. Another reason why it would cause a sell-off is the fact that there's less confidence now. Obviously, if the PTAB were to uh, accept this whole review, it doesn't mean that there are likelihood that this pattern, in a way, is infringing another pattern or, you know, at least it shouldn't exist. And this creates um, less confidence and that will also cause the sell-off. And so, again, like I said, guys, I personally feel like it's not likely to get accepted. But, you know, who knows? It could be accepted. And if it does, this is what I feel like it happen. What happens if it gets rejected? Now, here's what I think about this whole thing. I feel like normally when it comes to a option like this, you know, it should be 50-50 for both sides. If it gets accepted... It's, it sells off, it goes down by 0 0.001. But if it gets accepted, it, or if it gets rejected, it goes up by 0. It goes up by 0 0.001. However, I feel like when it comes to this particular case, even if the PTAB were to reject, there could be potential buyers coming in because uh, you know there were originally, this happened June and when it was in June, so this happened um, in June and we saw a lot of sellers coming in as well because people knew that this may get prolonged. We may see, see some buyers coming back However, I don't see this as a lot more buyers than there would be sellers because I just personally feel like right now a lot of people are rather waiting for the whole lawsuit rather than the pattern review because they don't care about the process. This is what happens when it comes to investing right now. Obviously, a lot of money right now are hot flowing money or quick money. And so they you know, kind of just want to see and they will come close they will come back when it's closer to the final result they won't come back you know if the p's have were to accept or reject or not so that's why i feel like there is potential buys coming in but it won't be you know compared to as the sellers that will happen if the p's have were to accept and finally p's have accepts but pattern still gets accepted so they accept the review but after the review they find out that it doesn't actually um it should exist there is no correlation between this and the robinson pattern this will obviously give more confidence because it's more likely However, this would already be, for example, to have taken a year. And so it would be a whole new thing. Maybe by that time, the market condition may be different. And it does cause more confidence, but it will also mean that, you know, we could be looking at a lack of bias now because people have moved on to other things. And so right now, the best thing for us would 
be that it gets rejected. However, even if it does get accepted, there's nothing to worry about as long as you're playing the long-term game. You know, right now, I think one of the best things to understand for HDMC is that pretty much what will help you the most is wait, you know, a very long time. And, you know, instead of just really stressing about HDMC, I personally tell you to buy HMC and just wait five years and then see what happens after five years. Again, you know, it's all your own decisions, but I feel like the best option here is to wait five years and just not to worry about it. If you can, obviously you can because sometimes, you know, all of a sudden you could get results on it, but I feel like the best option is to wait five years. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys think about HMC and comment down below what you guys want to see next. And with that, enjoy your day.